when the cams are out the bike uh, you can actually tell which one's which because the on the sprockets they have uh, IN engraved and EX intake exhaust and the bolts holding the cam sprockets to the camshaft are in located in the corresponding holes uh, intake are in the IN exhaust there uh, the two lineup marks when the left cylinder is at top dead center and uh, the two marks here are what used to make sure that the uh, the cams are aligned on the primary drive gear there's a dot stamped which is used as the alignment mark it's used to line to this mark on the casing when this mark and that dot are aligned that means the left cylinder is at top dead center and that's the uh, point used for uh, aligning the cams i've actually put a silver mark here on on this nut here under the cam ladder here I need to be slackened off very uh lightly otherwise there's a possibility that this casting will actually crack it's very fragile just start they're not on they're only torqued down to about nine newton meters so i'm going to do them about a quarter of a turn at a time The bolts now undone. I'm just going to lift this uh, this piece off. It's got three alignment spigots, which just kind of all right. It's going to pop. There we go. I had them all loose. I guess one or two of them are just there. We go. Found their ways back into the holes. I'm going to keep that all as one assembly. There's plenty of slack in the chain here. And I'll just lift this cam out, ease the chain off, that's the intake, I'll put that safe, just lift out the exhaust, um, there's a bolt here that stops the chain dropping all the way down the well. I'm going to change out these two exhaust shims, I'm going to get my big magnet and pop the first one out. Should have brought out brought out the shim along with the uh, bucket. I'm going to put a little dab of grease on the shim. Can put the shim in place. There he is, seated down. Got loads of oil on the shim bucket. I'm just going to put that right in. There we go, nice and easy. Let's get the second one. Shim shim came out on the bottom of the hot uh, being held out by the magnet. Pounded. Put the shim in. Okay, shim's in place. That's got loads of lube on it. And that is that. All the other valves are in spec, so those are the only two that I had to adjust. I'm gonna put the exhaust cam in. Okay, the uh, crank is located with the alignment dot next to the mark here. Put the cam in. Got to rotate it so that the line is there. I'm pulling tight on the chain to tension it. And I'm going to sit it down hopefully on the right tooth oh, I've got a big kink in my chain there, let me adjust it a little bit more okay have the uh, <coughs> the right side of the chain here basically uh, which will be pulled, it'll be pulled this way so this is imagine this is your your front sprocket on your bike pulling the rear sprocket so this is going to be the taut side of the chain so this is where you want to make sure you have your line set That's sitting down there get the intake check my alignment mark Let's 
sit that down carefully. And I need to adjust my alignment mark. I'm going to turn that one more position just in case. So you see where I'm at. There we go, perfect. I want to make sure that the, uh, if you can see the machine in here, that the, uh, the the bearing journals line up nicely. There's a tendency for it to the cams to move side to side, as I'm showing you here. You need to get those absolutely perfectly lined up. Okay, I'm going to squirt some oil on all of those. There's three mountain spigots, I believe these are oil feeds. Um, this one's actually still stuck in the top of the ladder here. So I'm going to put this in place now. Carefully. Okay, that all feels nice. And we'll just hand tighten these. I'm going to. Uh, tightening sequence is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now I've got these all hand snug down. Okay, they've all got a little bit. They're just starting to put tension on the cover here, except for that one bolt. Okay, and I'm just going to snug them down quarter about quarter to half a turn at a time and slowly bring this ladder down. You need to do this carefully according to the manual because this has basically lots of uh, I guess it's cast and it's fine and if you twist it and stress it these uh, I guess some of these areas these webs here will, will crack and pop so I'm going to do this slowly I'm going to turn the camera off because and I'll uh, just turn it back on when I retalk. All the bolts are snug down now I'm just going to torque them they get torqued to nine newton meters I got a little uh, inch pounds quarter inch drive so I'm just gonna follow the uh, steps of tightening these up one two gonna put the cam chain tensioner back in I've reset the tensioner, comes out, you push in here, reset it all the way in. Uh, should ideally use another hour ring, but I'm not going to. I've had this thing in and out about six times so far. So, just make sure as you tighten it up, it doesn't go in cattywonky. Do a little bit on each screw until it starts to go in. There we go, she's pushed in. Okay. Spring, just crush washer here again, should replace it. I don't think there's that much oil ever gets up here to leak. Um, slide it in there. I'm going to use a uh, Sears ratchet because it's easy to actually hold it and push on it and, and ratchet. You can actually hear the clicks there of it. Chain on in tension and just feed this until it bites. There she goes. I'll come back and retalk that later. And it should slide in fairly easy without those on. Get it past uh, this wiring loom here. She's set down nicely all around. Okay, there are two short screws going these end, and then these two going here. You have to kind of fiddle about till you find the hole. 